at this dude. Woo! It's popping, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Ooh, hey, man, if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Smash the like button, click that bell while you're at it, so you can be a part of the post note gang family. Best family on YouTube. That's no cap. Hands down. <laughs> hey, man, we are here for another Mr. Beast video today. One dollar versus two hundred and fifty million dollars. Private Island. We gonna do less talking, more reacting. Let's dive right into this video. Let's go. This is a two hundred and fifty million dollar private island. Wow. Now my question is, who owns that? Literally anything you could ever want is on this private island, and I'm gonna show you the difference between this and a one hundred and fifty million dollar luxury island, <laughs> a massive forty five million dollar island, a five million dollar frozen island, all the way down to the world's cheap. I want to see what the one dollar island looks like. What is it? Just a handful of sand? This private island. That wow. thing. I'm starting to realize we might not all fit on it. <laughs> First step on my brand new island. Here's your dollar. Thank you, sir. Thank you for selling it to oh, me. Mr. Beast is buying these islands? It's yours now, buddy. Let's check out what I just bought. My first impression is it's a lot smaller than I thought. When you pay a dollar, you get a random pile of bricks, an old toilet. I found the restroom. And a bunch of random wood. Why did he put his hands on it? And poles. There's more poles than square feet on this thing. They're actually called pylons. Let's pile onto that boat and leave. And as you can see, there's nothing here. So I'm going to blow it up. Well, later in this Might video, well. we're going to a $150 million island. And also a quarter billion dollar super island. But first, we're gonna head over to the one million dollar island called Monkey Island. Ooh, Monkey yes, Island. Yes, you heard me right. This island is literally swarmed with hundreds of monkeys. I can see why it's called Monkey Island. Wow. <laughs> What's this monkey? Oh. It's Odie. Oh, oh, Odie took my oh. orange. Okay. <laughs> He's monkey really hungry. Monkey day. <laughs> All the monkeys on this island have a strategy for interacting with people. They gaslight you into thinking that you're friends, and then they steal your food. You can have it. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> the monkeys are sneaky as hell. There's a monkey on the boat. And if you're wondering where you and your friends are going to sleep on this island, suspended above the water are six luxury cabanas, wow. which house both humans and monkeys. The monkey's grabbing the GoPro, Jimmy. Sir, we need this for filming. I just need to borrow this. Uh, thank you. Okay. That monkey's like, no filming in here. I got my camera back. You want to oh, oh, you about to grab that hat. Oh, you want your hat. Okay, you, you can have that, sir. By the end of this, I'm going to be naked. The monkeys are stealing everything. <laughs> and the monkeys are not even the coolest um, part of this island. See, this island isn't even an island at all. It's actually on top of a massive underwater plant network that emerged from the sand and water to create this illusion of an island that we see today. Is this a million dollar island or a million dollar bush because there's no land? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I think an island is what you make of it. <laughs> and on the other side of the island, there's even a private relay. So there's no land. So all these little houses and stuff like that, it's all built on stilts. Station area and a beachfront massage parlor. No way. I'm trying not to fall in the water. I'm about to get a massage with a monkey. That's really cool. Notice how all the water around you is freezing. What? You don't oh, see that every day. And we put that much effort in to convey that the $5 million island is very cold. And where we're going next, most of the year looks like this. But it's going to look like this. No Why? Where is that located? So this island is so cold right now that the lake around it is actually frozen solid. Which means to get there, we're going to be using an interesting vehicle. We're literally hovering. Yeah, apparently snowmobiles are just too basic for this island. It just had to be hovercrafts. Awesome. I want to ram it fast. And it only took about 30 seconds of being outside the hover. I wish Mr. Beast would uh, uh, tell us where these islands are exactly located. You know what I mean? That That's insane. Overcraft for the king to be frozen solid. How cold is it? It's zero degrees Celsius. It's pretty cold, man. He he more like a 70 guy. <laughs> and so they hurried over to these futuristic self-heated huts to stay warm. Oh, this is so small. Wait, there's no room for you in here. Uh, we're gonna have to cut one. And these huts are able to stay here completely year-round. Because not only can they float on warm, peaceful lake water, but they also do just fine in the dead of winter. But at least in the winter, you get a great view of the northern lights. For five million dollars, you basically get a winter wonderland. And while staying on this island, you're given unlimited five-star food. Wow. I think he thinks we speak Finnish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and even though this island comes with a luxury cabin to stay in. Oh, this is beautiful. This is right. Fine, I'll take it. Jimmy, buy it for me. The gang ended up spending most of their time on the frozen lake, where they were able to ride an actual no dog. dog sled. 
thought you took your glove. <laughs> that dog was not with that glove. I don't know how Eddie Iron's gonna beat this. Maybe one where I can feel my hands. And Carl's hands are in luck because the next island is not only warm, but more expensive than all of the other islands combined. This island is tiny, but arguably one of the most luxurious ones out there. Okay, let's go check out the house. 16 oh, million? Wow. <gasps> We're stoked to have you as our guest. We hope you have a blast. Just don't break anything. Yo, we should try to break one thing. <laughs> oh. Ooh, nice bathroom. Usually, rich people like showers that can... What was the reason of that, bro? What was the purpose of it? Fit like 30 to 1,000 people in them. This time, they chose a reasonable shower. When you pay $16 million, in addition to a shower that's the size of the $1 island, the private island comes with this helicopter that's apparently too big for the island. We have jet skis, we have a submarine, another submarine to a the right. submarine? Yeah, after that whole incident with that one situation last year, yeah, I would never get in a submarine. You got me big. Shark submarine over there. There's almost a submarine for each of us. Boys, do whatever you want. Have fun. Yeah. I'll do the jet skis. Oh, private island! Oh, you gotta walk my to be to get off of this thing! I thought it's a submarine. Doesn't it go underwater? Oh, it does go underwater. We're underwater. And after Ludwig and Carl kissed the sea at 500 miles per hour, we went back to shore to take a little breather. Yeah. Ludwig's gonna be jump out of a helicopter. He what? really is. No, wait, I'm not. Wait, what? Any last words? I love you. This helicopter is taking the boys up into the air. And I also will never get on a helicopter. Hell nah, bro. That's scary. For one, I'm scared of heights. I, I can barely get on a plane, bro. And letting them jump and free fall into the ocean. Oh my god. This is crazy. We shouldn't be doing this. This is only a $16 million island and we're jumping out of helicopter. It doesn't look like it's that high in the air, but I know for a fact it's pretty high in the air. He's about to jump! Oh my god! Oh no, that looks a lot further oh, than I thought. There it goes! <laughs> <laughs> Whoever said money does That was such an evil laugh. <laughs> if my happiness doesn't own that private island, if I'm pretty happy. And now the $45 million island. This island is so big you can't even fit it all in frame oh wow oh hey oh, i didn't even realize they were waiting on us i always feel Ooh, uncomfortable cool. when i pull up to places and people are just standing potentially for hours waiting on me hello we have some blueberry smoothies here is it alcoholic Smoothie. no yeah. it is not he's not 21. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll take you guys up and we'll show you around my life in a little bit let's see what 45 million dollars gets us it's a long path the path is longer than the last island for $45 million, this island comes with a mansion and its own beachside bar and private chef. Can I give it a flip? I feel like whoever owns these islands, they they some, they in, they, they, they in the mob or something, bro, doing some criminal activities. Sure. I'm not too bad. <laughs> and outside of the mansion is a hot tub overlooking the cove where the jet skis are. And of course, a pool with the best view I've ever seen. Does this look as cool on camera as it does in real life? And if for some reason That's you don't crazy. want to stay in the mansion, there's five luxury beachside cabanas you can pick from. Jimmy, uh, may I? You may. <laughs> may I? You may. I have class. <laughs> but even after messing around with all of the amenities... Why are we playing ping pong when we have an entire island? It's important to note that that's not what makes this island special. All the way on the other end of the island are century-old ruins that we are yet oh, to wow. explore. Get some driving. Oh, no. Are you ready? Yeah! We're gonna go off-roading a little bit and head to the back of the island now. How does Carl always end up driving? Because I'm awesome. Oh, big bug. Dude, this is like a safari. Yeah, you're going four times the speed limit. I mean, I don't know if there's cops that will stop you, but I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I highly doubt there's even a jail on the island. Is there a jail on this island? That's one thing that I would probably like to have an island, just so that I don't have to worry about the police. Don't get on my island. Oh, there's no jail? And when we finally Told ran you. out of road to drive on, we started to make our way through what used to be a village of people on this island over a hundred years ago. This used to be a bar? Yep. Yeah, you want to walk under this hundred-year-old giant thousand-pound slab? Sure. Surely. If you think about it, a hundred years old is not that long ago, so I'm actually kind of surprised it's already in ruins like that. It won't fall on top of it. Dude, if today was the day that it fell, you couldn't even be mad. Nolan, come over here before you die. And just past these ruins is easily the best view on the entire island. Whoa. Ooh. 
Yeah, it gets better. We were driving for so long, I forgot we were on an island. <laughs> the island starts over there, comes all the way around, wraps all the way around here, goes down that coastline, all the way up over there. I'll be honest, I personally wouldn't pay $45 million for a big jungle with some ancient ruins, but I'm sure some rich guy will. Yeah, this that next part. island is arguably the second most expensive island that money can buy. This is the $150 oh, wow. million dollar island. It comes with eight luxurious mega mansions. And the best part is, it's completely powered by solar panels and wind See, that's smart. And turbines. It's home to some of the most exotic animals I've ever seen. Wow. And took over four decades to build. This island will literally blow your mind. When I think of a private island, this is what I think of. That's good, because this is a private island. All right. And apparently, the first thing you need to do here is wash your hands. Make sure you don't taint the island with your outside world germs. I've already washed my germs. Does everyone who come here get a coconut? So do these islands, do they have like hospitals at least? Like what if you get severely sick or something or you break an arm? Like where do you go for medical attention? <laughs> I mean, they're not running low. <laughs> <laughs> True. I don't know if it's because this place is so fancy, or maybe they just heard about Carl's driving. But each of us ended up with our own personal driver. I have a feeling this is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Unless you come back. I might be out of my price range. <laughs> and even though that this part. island costs $150 million, you can actually rent it for yourself. For the extremely low price of $140,000. You got me fucked up, bro thousand dollars per day hell no 140 grand a day hell no this is the most luxurious private island in the world it is the view is insane this is the great house but before we were able to explore the great house my dumb friends got distracted by a turtle oh there's God. a turtle get in there yeah! <laughs> all right you guys go to the rest of the island <laughs> this island is so extra that for every one person in your party they have 10 staff members waiting on your every need there's a bunch of people over there like here's drinks here's food what do you want to do over the next two days and we're just like turtle yeah! and of course nolan of all my friends wanted to take advantage of this yes, yeah! <laughs> what's everyone up to over here oh, we're playing pool with 10 people? They're my hype crew. Like, you don't have to hang out with them to you make it feel good. Movie. I will be sad if you don't sit down and relax. Okay. <laughs> if you need attention, don't make them stand there. It's only been an hour, but I'll say it. This is the best island so far. On top of all of that, the island has a house with a driving range on the roof where you can hit golf balls into the ocean because these are made of fish food. Wow. I never knew stuff like that existed. Golf balls, that's fish food. Uh, okay. Nowadays, anything is possible. Like, oh, you should probably hit it further so you don't hit someone. Look at all those flamingos. There's so much I can't process it. Oh, flamingos in the sky. They're everywhere. They don't love us unless we give them food. Is it raining? It Stop is there, raining. my brethren. But flamingos aren't the only exotic animals on this island. Whoa. Carl, what's a dinosaur? This is so cool. And believe it or not, this tortoise could live to be over 200 years old. Mr. Tortoise, my name is Jimmy. If my descendants, descendants, descendants come here, tell them I was awesome. And afterwards, we got swarmed by a bunch of lemurs that live on this island. Get over here! Jimmy, I don't know if you noticed that there's two lemurs on your Yeah, I know. I'm trying not to move. I don't know. I'll put food on there. Oh, please don't. <laughs> and if you're wondering where all <laughs> these exotic animals came from most of them Aww. sadly are endangered species and are on this island because the owner richard branson brought all of them here to prevent them from going extinct that's the owner jeez man what did you do to get all that money bro who are you but the most endangered animals you kill on this island were the mermaids that served us sushi ah, mermaids and well, sushi count me in jeez. this is luxury mermaids for one Mermaids can never go wrong with. <clears throat> and sushi. Who count me in? Do you guys want sushi? I would say no. Is that cannibalism? Yes. It's like a family reunion. Get over here. There's honestly so much on this island, we can't even film it all. We played tennis. We played basketball. We explored yet another mansion. I did my first cold plunge. You get the idea. There's so much to do on this island, it's actually overwhelming. This one's actually pretty intense. I'm like actually scared. You want to know what else is intense? What? The final island, I'll see you there. Why are we still here? And on the way to the $250 million So this is the top of the top. Man, who, I need to figure out like how these people make this type of money. Because usually people with this type of money, they're pretty known. Like you know who they are. You feel me? Like billionaires and stuff. Obviously these people that are owning these type of islands for this amount of money, you, they're billionaires at the end of the day. You feel me? 
Island. We stopped at Shark Infested Waters because I have to pay for this video. And now that I'm surrounded by sharks, and what feels like my worst nightmare, I'm gonna tell you guys about some of guys. Oh, they're so close. Oh my gosh. And the worst part is, I'm not coming out until I'm done with this ad. Some of guys is a free to play mobile player game where 32 people compete. For the crown. You have to be an absolute maniac to do this. Not even stumble guys could pay me to do this. Why are you all here, sharks? Oh, oh. They're so close, they're so close. And for their new season, they went all out with new Mr. B skins, animations, and emotes. <laughs> okay, it's going right up. Bro, this is wild. I want to make sure there's enough sharks for Jimmy. They also added a brand new level where you have to follow a pattern as long as possible to stay alive. And the longer you live, the harder it gets. Oh, and the sharks hitting me. I think the sharks are hitting the cage. Oh. I think they're trying to eat you, Mr. Beast. Rocky. Oh, this is scary. I also just released my brand new toolkit, so you can build your own Mr. Beast level. This is one of their best seasons ever. You need to try my new Mr. Beast level, plus build your own, and I want to see what you guys come up with. Oh, the sharks keep hitting the cage. So I'm going to get out of here. Make sure you download Stumble Guys for free, so I don't have to go back to the shark cage. You're alive. Let's go do more things that have nothing to do with sharks. Please. And now that I've paid off the debt I've incurred from this video, let's visit the $215 million island. That's this insane. is a $215 million private island. This ex The fact that you can see that it's like, it's meant for tourists to go, as it, as it says in the caption, it has an entire amusement park. And you saw all those beach chairs and stuff like that. So it costs $250 million. Now I'm wondering how much they make in a day. Because they're obviously making money off the island as well. I mean, that one island, it costs $140,000 per day, bro. So you're making your money back at the end of the day, you feel me? Extraordinary Island has an entire amusement park with over a dozen water slides. It also has its own hot air balloon and just about every activity. And there was cruise ships right there. So people are probably getting on a cruise ship, traveling to the islands. And obviously those are some rich motherfuckers that can handle that time. And we have it all to ourselves. There are no other guests here, but out of every feature you've seen on these islands so far, this one stands above the rest. In the middle of the island is a massive water slide. Even nope. though literal eight-year-olds ride that water slide, I might still check it out because I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Same here, and I'm also claustrophobic, so being stuck in a slide for that long going down, bro, I can't do it. Before taking on the water slide, we checked out the other features, like how there's over a hundred jet skis on this island. It's a bit over Kill. And not to mention, there's a literal zip line nope. that spans across man-made beaches. Nope. What's the helmet for? What am I gonna hit? The ground, bro. Because sometimes people fall off. <laughs> this is like really scary. Yeah. Good luck. I'm surprised Mr. Beast is about to do this. He said he's scared of heights. I wouldn't even do it, bro. Thank you. Oh, you're not on the um, this is actually not that crazy. And if you own this island, you can host over 13,000 of your friends at any of these five guard You see what I'm talking about? Bro, I'm telling you, they make their money back. Into in pools. Oh. oh. This kind of looks like it was made in Minecraft. And it's so funny just seeing my two friends in it. Nolan looks like a tiny speck. For $250 million, this island, of course, has exotic animals. Is that a peacock? Sir, I need to take you in for questioning. Sir? And even every game you can imagine. I wish there was the 13,000 people that are normally here to watch how bad he is at Cornwall. Is that so- 13,000 people, bro. Just like, think about that, bro. And it, let's just say they're cheaper than the other island. And it costs 100,000 per day. 13,000 times 100,000. Bro, that's insane. Pool. This island has things I didn't even know existed. But something I noticed is that there were way too many lifeguards at this island for just the four of us. How many lifeguards are on this island? Oh, uh, over 100. Really? With this many lifeguards, you would have to try to drown. So Where do they live? They all, People that work there, the employees obviously have to live on the island, right? Like... It's not like they have to get on a plane or helicopter or boat to get back home, right? It'd be fun if we gave them all the day off. Has anyone ever rented this island before? Wow, this is a first. Dude, you are leaning back, You look way too relaxed. And after all the 100 lifeguards went down, they decided to hype up me and the boys for our turn to go down the slide. Boys, you want to know what's even scarier than that? What? That one. Why is it so terrifying? It right? looks so scary. <laughs> Could not be uh, me. We can skip it. Towering at over 135 feet tall, 
This is the tallest water slide in all of North America. I don't so it's even in North know America? what I'm looking at. <laughs> it's like a skyscraper. But I'm scared. <laughs> Daredevil's Peak. What a soothing name. Very inviting. Oh, we're so high. It's kind of freaking me out. All right, we made it to the top. Are you guys just waiting for us up here? <laughs> Listen to how intense the wind is up here. Oh, don't look down. Look how crazy the island uh, looks. No. Oh my god. Hey, right, Carl. You're right? No. Oh, no one. Oh. Yes. Would you say no scopes is enforceable? No scopes is enforceable. There we yeah. go. Hey, the last card said you gotta go, Nolan. Love you, mom. I'll see you on the next side. All right, go. Ah! Oh my god, I hit my truck. Let's do this. Ah! You better come down after me. Okay. He ain't coming down. Ah! Oh god. Why is it so fast? Is it actually that scary? Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna do yeah, this. I don't think I would be able to do that. I'd be walking back down the stairs, bro. Entertainment, even though giant rides scare me. Here we go! That is going so fast. And even though I was basically just drowning the entire time down the water slide, I gotta say, this whole island was pretty awesome. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Make sure you use this QR code to download Stumble Guys. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh man. Must feel nice to have that type of money. Whoever bought that island for $250 million. Sheesh, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, if y'all made it to the end, I greatly, greatly appreciate it, man. Smash the like button, leave a comment down below, click that bell while you're editing. Till next time, I'm gonna see y'all next time. I'm out.